on your journey to the top, on your path to the top, there's so many people around who are counting on not your success, you know. No, they're not counting on your success. Although your success is not going to benefit them at all. You know, you ain't giving them no money. You're not helping them out. But there's so many people on your path to the top. There's so many people counting on your downfall. So right now we're going through the recession. And unfortunately, some people may lose their properties. Um, my girl's a mortgage broker and we was actually, she was actually messaging me saying that uh, I think when they went through the last uh, recession in like 07 or something, there were some people like their interest rate went from or their monthly payments went from 800 to 1400. And I was like, wow, like that would cripple the average person. Imagine, imagine your rent or your mortgage. It's the same thing. It's a payment. Yeah. Imagine that went from 800 to 1400. See, it's better if it's your rent because, you know, you might have a parent who you can go and stay at their house or whatever in it. But imagine your mortgage goes from 800 to 1400. The average person does not have an extra 600 pounds to just pull out. The average person would love to have an extra 600 pounds to spend on themselves if they could. They can't do that. The average person could not afford for their monthly payments to increase by 600. I mean, I could afford it, but Jesus Christ, I would not make that my first wish on the genie, genie lamp, yeah? So, some people who don't have properties or whatever, or who are unsuccessful, they could hear that, oh, someone who's, who owns a 500, 600, 700 grand house has just lost their property because, obviously, their interest rate's gone up and that. And maybe the average person would sympathise with someone who's lost their home, five, six hundred, seven hundred grand's worth of a home, and they got children and that. So some people would sympathise in that. But I would love to see the reaction of the GP, the general public, if a Facebook post was made during these times now, during the recession now, about some property mongol tycoon, a guy who owns in excess of a hundred properties, he was taking home on average, I don't know, twenty thousand pounds per month of you know, all, um, after obviously he was getting his rent money and that. A property mongol tycoon, he owned in excess of a hundred properties and that. He has almost lost half of his properties due to his over lending, over leveraging, over borrowing and that. I would love to see the comment section of some of these posts on, on a post like that on Facebook. You know what some people would say? It's effing cunt, ah, oh, well that's what you get for being a rich so and so, you bastard. Like, people, a man won't even know a man, but a man will be dissing a man. A man will be dissing a man's success. Or a man will be glad that another man has fallen off. People are natural haters. I know there is some individuals in my family, they would love to hear, you know Jay's lost all his properties, you know. You know Jay's broke, you know. You know Jay's living back at his mum's house, you know. Humble pie. That's what they'll be thinking, you know. When my success has got nothing to do with them. I, I, whether I'm rich, whether I'm broke, it don't affect them. Other people, they don't want to hear about other people doing well. Do you know why? Because it's a reflection. It tells them that they're actually supposed to be doing well themselves. It actually lets them know that, you know what? You could be doing well them yourself, you know? People don't want other people being rich around them. Because it makes them look inferior. It makes them look like, well, if I can do it, why aren't you? It makes them look lazy. People would rather be around people who are on the same level or a little bit below rather than be around people who are richer than them or above their level because it highlights the fact that maybe you should be at our level. People always want to be the superior or at least the average. Among. No one wants to be around people that are 
more superior than them. You see, if you're a person who's trying to climb up the ladder and trying to really go some places, you want to be around people who are doing better than you so you can learn from them. See, this is the reason why a lot of people don't learn nothing, who are going nowhere, who are going nowhere, who will never get anywhere in life because they're around too much mediocre people. They ain't around no one that they can learn from. They're not watching no one on YouTube that can help them. They're watching prank videos. They're watching stupidness. People, I'm telling you, people always want to hear about a man's downfall. No, no one wants to hear that this person has just won 10 million. People want to hear that they've lost all of their worth. Yeah, there's certain people, yeah, they, they'll back celebrities and that. But then... You know, slyly, if that celebrity that they kind of like and that let, lost all of their fortune and that and it was a bum out on the street, it would make them feel a bit, you know, make them feel like a bit good than that. And that's someone who ain't done nothing mad. Make a man do a mad crime. Alright, so that may, remember that Mason Greenwood, you, that, that youth from Manchester United that tried to force himself on his gal and that and he beat her up and that. You know, on Facebook, um, obviously, they were saying something along the lines, obviously, my man's being, um, they've stopped him from playing for Man United, I think it was. They stopped him from playing for Man United until, uh, obviously, the investigation's up and that. You know, there's some people, they were glad to hear that. Let's, I, I don't even know. Let's say, for example, Man United even dropped him, innit? You know, there's certain individuals, they'll be glad to hear that Man United dropped him, you know? Or if... You know, people, there could be a poll out there, innit, yeah? Should he be allowed to eat? Let's say, for example, he's convicted and that and he serves his time, serves his punishment. Should he be allowed to play football and earn the salary that he was on before? 20, 30, 40 grand a month, whatever, innit? Some people will say, no, no, he should not be allowed to earn that money. He's too young. There's some people, they don't want to hear that that boy is back on the pitch, you know? Even though he served his punishment for his crime and that, they don't want some, they don't want him back on the pitch. They don't want another young person earning money in that. If people could decide, should he be allowed to return back to football after he served his punishment for his crime, a lot of people will say no. Not because of the crime that he committed, because he's earning so much money. I'll give you an alternative reality. Do you think if Mason Greenwood was a McDonald's worker and the people had the uh, you know, they could decide whether or not he could return back to McDonald's. If they said, everyone, let's put a vote out there. Should he be allowed to return back to McDonald's after he served his punishment for the crap for the crime that he committed? Should we allow him to? People want to give a fuck. People would not give a fuck. They, people would be like, well, why are you asking us? Why do we care whether he returns back to his McDonald's job? But if it was a case of him returning back to being a footballer and earning how, however many hundreds of grands for the year, a lot of people will say no, because they're jealous. They don't want another person earning more money than them. But at the same time, it's like, I know everyone can become a footballer and that, but you have the opportunity to, you get me, get on YouTube and make a name for yourself and become, do you know what I'm saying? You're like, everyone has 24 hours in the day. But a lot of people don't choose to use it wisely. Everyone has the weekend off for the most part. What are you going to do? You're going to use that weekend and the time after work to invest in yourself and that, or are you going to use it to just have fun? So that, like, you know, like people looking forward to the weekend is like a, a drug. So you feel low during the week because you don't have your drug. And then when you get your drug, you feel high, you're on a high on the weekend, you, you get me having fun, then you go down again and you're low. And then you get me, you wait for the next week and then you're on a high and a low. You wanna be living life like that, man. You wanna be living life where it's like every day. Do you think, do you think Drake, do you think Drake looks forward to the weekend? Do you think Drake is looking forward to the weekend? Drake don't give a fuck about the weekend. Every day is the Ross Clark weekend for Drake. Me? I turned 30, what, a week ago? I was not interested in my 30th birthday, you know. Do you know what I'm interested in? I'm in the process of completing my, well, 
third property in this country, fourth in total. I'm in the process of completing my third property. All I'm waiting for is that key. I don't give a fuck about my birthday, you know. See, this is how you know I've got stuff going on in my life. For the most part, the majority of people, they're looking forward to their birthday. You see, I don't, on the 1st of September, I was anticipating, okay, I should complete on this property by the 15th. Now, on the 1st of September, it was three weeks until my birthday. You know, I didn't give a fuck about my birthday. I wasn't thinking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to big tree. Oh, yeah, three weeks time, 20 days time. I'm going to turn 30. You get me big boy now. I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking, when am I going to get the keys and complete on this Ross Clark property? It's taking too damn long. That's what I was thinking about. Most people, they ain't got nothing to look forward to. You need to start pursuing stuff. Yeah, so that you've got things to look forward to other than your fucking birthday or Christmas or your girl's birthday because then you get to treat her on a nice expensive holiday and that because you're, you know, you're able to experience the holiday as well. Anyway, I'm out. Stay where it's done now.